This election is the most consequential election in our lifetime. And I know people will say they hear that a lot, but this time it is because everything is at stake. If you want to talk about HBCUs and the funding that we've been able to do uh, during this administration, if we have a change of administration going a different way with MAGA folks who are out there who are saying that they want revenge and retribution, they want to take away our health care, they want to do away with the department, state departments of education. So when you think about how critical education in health care, in housing, and all the safety nets are, for, especially for black Americans because of the disparity of funding and treatment that we have suffered over the years, it's critical, but there is an answer for it. I always like to end with a little bit of hope, and that hope is being registered to vote and yeah. voting. That is the number one thing that I tell younger folks and older folks, and our seniors get it, because they lived during an era of time when they couldn't vote simply because of the color of their skin. I can remember our first black president of the United States, Barack Obama. My 90-some-year-old mother said then, I'll stand in line for seven hours to be able to cast a vote for the first black man to be president of these United States. And she wasn't alone. People all over the country proudly stood in line to cast that vote. It's one of the most sacred things that we have. So I tell people, if you want a better education, if you want more monies going into HBCUs or healthcare or Pell Grants, then you need to do your part. And that's get out there and vote and vote for people who advocate and fight for you.